Sevens cricket facilities against the Emirates uh, 11. I find Emirates looking to avenge what was uh, well, an interesting game on Friday. More on that in just a little while, but let's get to the real details of the day. Some massive news for cricket lovers here in the region. Before we get on to that, let me please introduce you to some very special guests here today. First and foremost, our top table and representing Emirates Airline and Group, the Executive Vice Chairman, Sir Morris Flanagan, is here. Also here from the Dubai Cricket Council, the Chairman, Abdul Rahman Falaklans. We're also blessed to have with us several uh, other leading DCC members uh, who are available to speak to the media afterwards. So a warm welcome, first and foremost, to the Vice Chairman, Mohammed Reda Abbas. Thank you very much for being And of course, the Joint Secretary, Mohammed Lokhenwala. Thanks, Mohammed. Uh, also, just like to mention that a little later on, we'll be opening up the floor, and Jim Fitzsimmons is here. Jim is the uh, General Manager of the Seven, and he'll be here to answer any questions with regards to the uh, Thank you again to each and every one of you for being here with us today. Uh, without further ado, I'd like to ask Sir Morris Flanagan, the Executive Vice Chairman of Emirates Airline and Group, to say a few words. I just need you to guess, ladies and gentlemen, Friends who media, friends. You know what the Chinese say about friends? Life holds no pleasure greater than watching a friend fall off a roof. <laughs> it's a great pleasure to be here today with the Dubai Cricket Council to announce a partnership which marks the latest stage in the development of the Sevens. Since only in 2008, Emirates' dedicated sports and event facility quickly became a health of sport in the UAE entry uh, for a diverse range of interests. From rugby to football, hurling, netball, tennis, as well as Gaelic and Australian rules football. It's well known that people in Dubai have an incredible passion for cricket. So the opening of the cricket facilities at the Sevens this time last year was a very exciting time for us. Emirates and the Dubai Cricket Council are, of course, old friends. The Dubai Cricket Council has a key role in the development of, of our pictures, coordinating construction with the support of a BCCI curator. In addition, we help fund two grass pictures at the old base at Al Jada, which hosted thousands of cricketers every week until it made way for construction projects. In 20, uh, or, or, and it's with immense pride that we will try that we will, will now again be joining hands with the DCC by the sport of, uh, 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 in a new home, which I hope will be at the heart of the community for generations to come. Although we are proud of our involvement in cricket around the world, with prestigious partnerships such as the International Cricket Council, which gives the airline sponsorship rights to all its major tournaments including the ongoing Cricket World Cup, contributing to the growth of the sport at a grassroots level, and that's particularly satisfying. The facility here with six pitches, practice nets, and a pavilion with four dressing rooms, augmented by further dressing rooms and full catering facilities at the adjacent players club, has the capacity to host hundreds of players every week, and we look forward to welcoming them to the service. Thank 